Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video we're going to learn how to slice a sprite in Unity. I'm guessing you already knew that or you wouldn't have clicked the video. Hey. So what are we going to do in this video? We're going to cover how to import your artwork, what settings to adjust in the inspector, how to use the sprite editor and how to use these sprites in the game. So with that said, let's get started. To begin with, I'm here in a sprite, and this is the sprite I'm going to be animating. It has a few different animations that I'm going to output into a single sprite sheet ready to use in Unity. Once I have my file, the only thing I need to know is the size of the sprites I have. So I know these sprites are 48 by 48. So that means that each of these sprites has been given a 48 by 48 block on the sheet. I can use that later. So I'll export these sprite sheets in and I'll pack them together, not by rows, put them into a file and we're done. And now let's go over to Unity. To add this to Unity is, pretty, is really simple. I have my sprite sheet slicing project here. I have my file just off screen. And when I drag the sprite sheet in, it quickly imports it for me. Then you can select it down here in the project view and you can resize the preview over here if you want to get a better look. With the sprite sheet selected, you can see all of these options in the inspector. The first thing to change here is the sprite mode. Since we've got multiple sprites on a single sprite sheet, we want to change this from single to multiple. Next, we have the pixels per unit. This is where we set those values I talked about earlier. So we know it's 48 by 48 pixels, pixel sprites. So I'll set this to 48. And that will mean that for every unity unit, we use 48 pixels. That's the equivalent. I'll set the filter mode down here to point no filter. You'll want to do that for all your pixel art. And then last but not least down here, we'll change the compression from normal quality to none because we want the best quality we can get. I'll click apply and that's it. We're ready to start slicing up the sprite. Let's get straight into it. We'll click on the sprite editor button here and that'll open up the sprite editor. As you can see, we have the full sprite sheet in front of us. We want to turn each one of these into an individual sprite for us to use. Up here in the top left corner, we're going to click through, click on the slice button. This gives us a few different types of slicing option we can do. We can choose automatic, which will mean that Unity makes a best guess for us. This can work out okay for some sprites, but I tend to find it causes some janky issues. The other two options are grid by cell size and grid by cell count. Both of these are really useful if you have evenly distributed sprites in a standard sprite size. Since we have all of our sprites in a 48 by 48 block, I'm going to choose grid by cell size and I'll put in 48 by 48 or I would if I hadn't already done it. The next thing is to select pivot point. It, this is where the pivot of the individual sprite is set from when you slice. This is really important and I would advise to either stick with center or bottom left until you know what you're doing and have a reason to change it. It's also good to remain consistent with your selection. Otherwise, you'll see some issues where sprites uh, are difficult to place or jump around a little in, in uh, animations. If you want to learn more about this, then luckily enough, I have another video that touches on the subject and should be on the screen right now. Isn't that lucky? It's like I planned this or something. I'll also put a link in the description down below. So now that we have that, we can click slice. That is pretty much it. You've sliced your sprite and the rest is just changing the values you've already set. Before we leave the sprite editor, you can click on the individual bounding boxes that were generated and change the information about them. You can give it a name, change the position, pivot point. You can also drag them around, but I'm going to leave it where they are. The last thing to do before we leave is to click apply. This persists our changes and we're ready to use them in our game. If you try and exit without clicking apply, then Unity will warn you about unapplied import settings and you'll be asked to revert them or apply. I'm going to apply and we're done. 
But where's the sprite, you may ask? To use the sprites is really easy. We can open the sprite down here in the project view and you can see them in here. I'll drag the first one in and there's our little guy in the game. Before we close this up, I'll create a simple animation. To do this, I'll open the animator window or animation window. Dock it down here so that you can see what's going on. I'll create an animator and I'll just name it uh, player animator animation and I'll just leave it in that folder for the example then I'll drag some of the sprites in I know these three are the idle animations so I'll highlight them and drag them onto the timeline I'll click play and there you go he's idling so that's it we've done it we've sliced up the sprite sheet and our guys in the game if you've enjoyed the video then consider subscribing to the channel and giving the video a like i've basically put every way in the world to follow me in the description below so if you want to check me out on twitter my blog or sign up to my newsletter where you can get monthly updates on videos tutorials and whatever else is going through my mind then you can do that too Oh, and that video I mentioned earlier should be here too. Why don't I check that out?